All right, for starters, you can see that the uh, yellow pin is not in the uh, green, so that means we don't have pressure. And when you squeeze the trigger, there's no uh, water coming out. So what you're gonna wanna do is unscrew this, this, uh, this nut around the, the stem. And if there was any pressure in here, it would kind of shoot out. So you want to get rid of all the pressure first. So after unscrewing it, it should come out in one big stem. And then, so you're going to take this plastic sleeve out, and then it's just straight water down there. We're going to fill it up with um, just regular hose water. All right, so you're going to want to fill up the water to the point where it's not on the sleeve. So once you get it up to pretty high, uh, pretty much three quarters of the way up to the top. You're gonna wanna put the sleeve back in and see where you're at. You don't want any of the water inside the sleeve. Um, you pretty much just want it right at the edge. So we're gonna start uh, filling up some of the water. All right, so we're about three quarters of the way. We're gonna put the sleeve back in. We're not all the way up to the sleeve yet, so we're going to add some more water. Okay, so now we're just at the bottom of the sleeve, so we're going to insert the tube back in. And screw down the, uh, the nut up top. You want to make sure this is just hand tight. You don't want to crank it down too much. All right, so now we're going to fill this up with some air. We're going to just take a regular tire valve filler and put it right to the um, to the nipple on this. So you're going to want to go just to the um, just to the uh, the yellow needles into the green. When you do this though, you want to make sure you give a constant stream of air. If you start having it go in and out, it's going to start spraying water through the valve and could mess up your air compressor or just get you wet. So we're going to just um, put a steady stream of air right into it, right to the, the needles up into the green. hundred PSI is the best PSI for this, so um, you could go a little bit more if you want to have a little bit more um, time with it. but. I wouldn't really want to exceed more than 120. So water cans are really good to keep in your truck, good to put in your toolbox or strap it down in your bed. Um, it's good to just have, it's great for bonfires, if you have a bonfire out in the woods, uh, have this right by the fire in case something goes wrong or you just got to get out of there quick great to have. These things are pretty cheap. They're great, they're refillable, and um, yeah. So I guess I hope you guys liked the video. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, um, subscribe and like. We're going to try and put out a new video every week. So I hope you guys enjoyed.